everybody, Brad Greenfield here for another edition of Tech Time. Today what we're going to be talking about doing is taking a PDF and converting it into an interactive PDF. Uh, now if you're like me and, and maybe have trouble writing in uh, some of those blanks where, where others can read it, my handwriting is horrible, or if you know of some clients that may have trouble doing the same thing, this will be for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload that uh, PDF into Adobe Acrobat Pro. We're going to change it to an interactive file. Going to go through some things that we can do to change that. And then we're going to talk about saving it so that we can email it out as an attachment. Uh, folks can fill it out and send it back to us. Now the thing, the problem with the form that we're going to be using, specifically the 600A form, is it has a section for people to sign. Now unfortunately in most cases, now I'm, I'm not an attorney so you'll need to check this out for yourself, but in most cases on, on signature panels like that we actually need a physical signature. However, they can complete the form, print it out, sign it, and then put it in the mail. But on some of our forms that don't require signatures, uh, then you can, you can do it that easy. So inside of Acrobat Pro, uh, I'm just going to click on Forms and start form wizard and here it's going to give me an option to select a form uh, that's either made, scan one in, create a blank one or whatever I want to do. I'm actually going to use one that I already have saved so I'm going to select use an existing file select next and it wants to import a file I'll browse and it goes right to where I've saved this 600A form so I'm going to click that and then select open select next and we see our 600A form show up. Now you always get this pop-up box unless you check this, but this is pretty much just a, a key that's telling you that the form name is this name that's inside here and that the form field is the box that's surrounding that form name. Okay, so nothing to really know there. So I'm going to select OK. And it pretty much has done 99% of the work for us. We can see that name, county, activity, event, all of this information is already filled out. Now the problem is with these check boxes or with phone numbers we don't have anything filled out. So what we can do is to make it easier on our users we'll go ahead and go to forms, form tools and we're gonna add a check box. We'll slide right down here and put that check box right over that mail check box and we'll make it just a little bit smaller and even a little bit smaller so it fits better inside that box a little bit okay so now we've got the checkbox done now we have a lot of other checkboxes on this form but specifically this one that says female so what I want to do is just press and hold the control key and with my mouse inside these blue squares it turns into a pointer so I can left click and hold and drag that box over here to this checkbox and now I've got two checkboxes now over here if I look at the legend right here I see checkbox uh, 5 and checkbox 5 number 1 okay that's because I've done some other checkboxes in here before but I want to change those names so if I go to this box I double click it I can change the name from checkbox 5 to mail and click close and then double click here and change that one to female and click close okay so now you see male female check boxes now the other thing we need to do is create for phone numbers so what we can do here is forms form tools text field and just drag and drop this little text field there we'll make it a little bit smaller so it doesn't interrupt anything. And then on this uh, text field number six, I'm just going to double click that and change that to cell phone. And click close. Okay. So now we've got that. Now if I want to preview this just to see what we've done, we see here we can input our name. There's my name. We look down here. Now our check boxes didn't line up. You can you can address this and make it a little bit better, but we can see that we can check and uncheck inside of there. On our phone numbers, if we wanted to 931 320 403. So that's my phone number. Now you will notice that we get into the area where we have these 
parentheses for area code. You know, that's when you if you create a form, you don't really need to do that. There's not much we could really do in that right now to eliminate that. We could create two separate form fields here for cell phone area code and then cell phone number, daytime area code, daytime phone number. We could always do that if you wanted to. If you don't mind being able to read that uh, with those parentheses there around it, then you can do it that way. Completely up to you guys. So once we have this done, now to save it, we just go to Close Form Editing. And we're going to see here that we have our interactive form. So now I'm going to go to File, Save As. And I'm going to save this as 600A Interactive. And click Save. So now that form is ready to be uh, uploaded to uh, our SharePoint sites, possibly emailed out to people, however you may want to do it. Uh, so if you have any questions, you should see my information there on the screen. Just let me know, and we'll work through it.